Today we're going on a field trip to the Grand Canyon. Super excited, it's gonna be amazing. Um, I've been there before a few times, but I've never been there with a group of geologists, so we're gonna get to really, you know, super geek out together about, about the rocks of the Grand Canyon. So, super excited about that. It's crazy early in the morning, but thankfully it's Phoenix time and um, it's not too bad for me. Um, so, gotta get some breakfast, get over to the convention center, and then we hit the road for the canyon. One of the most interesting things about this part of Arizona that we're traveling through right now is that just as recently as 40 million years ago, the drainage pattern was reversed. There used to be a mountain range, an Andean type mountain range, just like we have in the Andes Mountains of South America today, that was located right here on top of the Basin Range. And the rivers flowed out of that onto what is now the Colorado Plateau. What used to be mountains to the south is now the lowlands, and what used to be the lowlands to the north is now the highlands. We're still on our way north from Phoenix up to the Grand Canyon, taking a quick stop here at Sunset Crater Volcano. It's a cute little cinder cone. It's only about a thousand years old or so. And we've also, here in Flagstaff, talked about uh, some of the other volcanoes, like this one back here, which has a little more complicated and longer history of volcanic activity. So we're going to continue on heading north, uh, get some lunch soon, and hopefully soon arrive at Grand Canyon. On the way up, we stopped one more time for lunch at the Cameron Trading Post. While we were there, our trip leader showed us some incredible trace fossils in the building stones. Here we go, super incredible. These are early Triassic amphibian footprints. Here we go, truly incredible fossil footprint right in the wall with mud cracks. And there's another one up here. Fantastic. of the Colorado Plateau are probably controlled by Precambrian structures. So this is a very complex monocline that has a number of 90 degree bends in it. Well, we have finally arrived. Here it is. like this. Here's the gentle slope down to the west. Here's the steep limb down to the east that is the East Kaibab monocline. So we're right here at Desert View at the highest elevation, 7,400 feet above sea level. So the last time I was here in May, it was like 35 degrees and snowing here at the Watchtower site. Definitely a nice warmer day today. It's actually a little bit cool even, not nearly as hot as it was down in Phoenix. Let's go up to the top of the watchtower. I've never ever been up top there, so I want to see what it looks like from there. This is backwards to the the Grand Canyon is 277 miles long and about 10 miles wide in many places. This enormous canyon was carved out by the Colorado River and the uplift of the Colorado Plateau. 
Here on the eastern end of the park, you can see the Colorado River winding its way through as it slowly makes its way to the Gulf of California. The Paleozoic layers form the flat-lying sedimentary rocks that dominate the canyon walls. One of the more significant geological features of the canyon can be seen on the eastern end. It is an angular unconformity between the flat-lying Paleozoic strata and the highly tilted Precambrian sedimentary rocks below. The rocks of the canyon record nearly two billion years of Earth's history. So, sun's starting to get a little lower. We've made it to Canyon Village. Visitor centers and all that's here. It's about five o'clock. We're heading over to Mather Point to see the sunset in just a little bit. Also, uh, there's a dude dressed up as Cookie Monster for reasons I fail to understand. So let's head on to Mather Point, see how the sunset looks. I'm guessing this is Mather Point here. Okay. I've been to the Grand Canyon before, but I have never been to Mather Point. This place is amazing. What a view. And I've never been here near sunset like this. Oh my goodness. It's gorgeous. Wow. I'm not sure what to think. Wow. Well, the sun has officially set here at Mather Point. What a beautiful experience. I've been sitting here for about 20, 25 minutes or so, just watching the sun go down. Wow, what an incredible place. So we have to head back to the bus soon, um, to our lodging. And um, tomorrow we're coming back to the canyon we will be going through the uh, Trail Through Time exhibit, which I'm super excited about. I've never seen that yet. So more on that tomorrow.